Hey guys, Matthew Bate here. Welcome to my latest blog post. Today I'm going to be talking about a bit of an old school book I read recently called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, if you can read this up here, which is uh, good advice for all of us, I think. And it's by a guy called Dale Carnegie, who most of you will know from the book How to Win Friends and Influence People. Amazing book. Uh, this is a bit lesser known, but I think it's equally as good. And it just has some amazing tips in it. I think it's something that you know, everyone needs to focus on because they say we spend like one third of our lives sleeping and the other part of it awake, but I think we spend, most people spend most of that worrying and stressing, which for me, just like the title suggests, isn't really living. And I've been caught into in that trap before where I used to just stress about absolutely everything. And life's just no fun, and it's no good for your health, it's no good for your mind, it's no good for the people around you, and also worry leads to fear, and fear is the biggest action killer in the world. So, I've got some techniques I wanted to talk to you guys, and these are my techniques, these are techniques I got from the book and other personal development people I'm, I'm really into, and these are things that have just helped me in a massive way. So. Three steps that I normally try to follow, I'm not perfect at this, but try to follow to stop worrying. Uh, firstly, is change your rules for happiness. Now, this is something Tony Robbins talks about a lot, and he talks about in one of his seminars, how this he met these two guys, and one guy was a very wealthy business person, making about two or three million dollars a year, really great shape, in his 40s, had a beautiful family, but he was pretty miserable. And when Tony Robbins asked him why, he said, uh, you know, I made two million this year, but I should have made four million. My body fat's at 9%, it should be down at 7%. Um, you know, my family family just aren't perfect, my kids are playing up, blah, 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 blah. And what that means is his rules, these rules that he set for himself and his family and his life to allow him to be happy were just far too high. And then this other guy in the audience steps up and he's the most cheerful guy in the room, smiling, laughing, everyone loves him, but pretty average life, like, you know, kind of low income earner, divorced, uh, single, all those sort of things. And Tony Robbins asked, you know, why the hell are you so happy? And this guy goes, I just say to myself, you know, my life rule is that as long as I wake up every day above ground, then I'm a happy man. I've got everything I need. So you can see his rules for happiness are at a complete different level. So you've got to ask yourself, what are your rules? What are you, what guidelines you set that you have to meet to make yourself happy? And I think you want to set reasonable guidelines. Like you don't want to be too low and you know, you're this happy just waking up every day and doing nothing because you probably won't achieve much, at least you'd be happy, but you know, you want, you want at least to set rules high enough that you're productive and feel like you're achieving towards your goals, but also don't be too hard on yourself. Like for me, I, I set goals at the start of every day and I know that as long as I've worked my butt off to try to achieve all of them, if I don't get everything done, I'm still gonna be proud of myself. But then obviously there might be days where I don't feel like I worked hard enough, so I'm not gonna feel as good, but I don't get down. Just the next day, just try to raise your standard again. So you gotta ask yourself, Firstly, what are your rules for happiness? Are they ridiculous? Do you have to be perfect to be happy? Because really, let's face it, you're never gonna be happy. The second is where is your focus? So the reality is as life is a, a balance of cause and effect and duality and we're always gonna have good things happen to us and bad things. You are never going to have everything going perfect in your life, never. I don't know any person in the world who has that. Uh, and there's a great book on this by uh, Dr. John Martini called The Gratitude Effect where he talks about this. But basically, everyone's the same. We've all got ups and downs, but it just depends on where you focus, where you focus your attention. Happy people, Focus on the good things in their life. They're grateful. They list five things they're grateful for before bed every night. They think of the positive things in their life. They're grateful for their health, for their body, for their family, for the people around them. Unhappy people tend to focus on all the negatives. They, you know, which might only be 20% of their life, but if you focus on it, it seems like everything, whatever your perception is, totally expands. So. Where is your focus? What are you focusing on each day? Of course we wanna be critical on some things because we wanna improve, but if, that, if you're only focusing on the negatives in yourself and others, then you're gonna be pretty miserable and it's gonna send you into a downward spiral where you're just not happy with your life. So focus on the good things in your life. Write down five things before bed every night that, you, that you're grateful for and you, you'll find that your mindset will start becoming a lot more positive. And then the last one is ask yourself better questions. So you've got to understand how the brain works. The brain is kind of like Google search. Literally whatever you put in, it will respond, uh, it will reply to your answer. So for example, if you're someone who's overweight, 
and you ask yourself, why am I overweight? Your brain will go, because you're a stupid fatso or something like that. Because you eat too much chocolate, because you're undisciplined, because you're lazy. And you know, th they're obviously gonna make you depressed. If you, if you ask yourself those sort of questions, you wanna ask your brain solution-minded questions. So you might be like, okay, I'm a little bit overweight, but what can I do about this situation? What uh, benefits uh, will there be in, in this for me if I made a change? How can I make a change in a positive way that will actually be fun in the process? So maybe you can find a gym buddy, maybe you can find a diet plan that suits you and blog about it and turn into a really positive experience and inspire others in the process. Maybe you can be like that guy, I forget his name, fat sick nearly dead, who went on a 60 day juice cleanse and took another guy with him and completely tra transformed their health and have inspired thousands and thousands of people around the world to do the same thing. He turned a negative situation, terrible health, overweight, into an extremely positive situation because he clearly asked himself, asked himself really, really good positive questions that the brain responded to in a positive way. So top three, change your rules for happiness. Uh, where is your focus at? Is it positive or negative? And ask yourself better questions. So these are things I'm sure you guys have techniques that you use as well. These are just things that really help me and that I've stolen off some of the best people in this genre, uh, personal development field, and it's, it's made a big impact on my life. So hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of this. And if you did, please subscribe to my blog. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's matthewbayblog.com. Put your email in, you'll get my videos every week. I'm gonna try and post one every week. And also the last thing I'll say is um, recently I was over in America. Uh, for all you health seekers out there, if you're anything like me, really passionate about health, I know that when you're feeling energetic, when you're feeling good, you just do better things in life. I think you guys would agree. When I'm feeling down and low energy, I tend to find it hard to take massive action. So I've got, I filmed this video over in America recently, me talking about a health program I'm really passionate about. So be sure to check that on the videos tab on my website, which is matthewbaitblog.com. And be sure to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.